Uh, Handy on your left, Rossum on your right. We'll see who's on the play here in just a moment. Uh, but Rossum actually, so this is one of the times where humans has a lot of interaction. Yeah. Uh, Thalia too. Make everything cost more. These are all things that are going to matter. And heck, even our old pal Reflector Mage could oh, yeah. be okay. Yeah. A little slow. A little slow. M much better with Bile than without. Yes, also true. Uh, taking a look at the sideboard, I'm taking a look at Rossum's because it's in front of me. Sin Collector. Slow, but kind of good. Fine. Um, Static Caster, obviously good. Two Dismembers, good. There you go. Yeah. Well, there's some good cards here for Jonathan. Now, I'm, I'm curious, again, I'm curious if he was on the play because I think it matters a lot here. If Emma Handy's on the play, you can steal it quick. Yeah. That's well, really important. Static Caster is an unpleasant card. Yeah, it's going to be very, very hard for her to beat. We saw earlier in the tournament with... Uh, in a match that Pandy won, but a game that she lost to Gearpar Aether Grid just being too much. Too much. Yeah. Static caster, much the same. Well, both players are gonna take a look at their openers. Looks like Rossum's on the play. Nope, actually handy. Okay, breeding pool, glistener elf. Okay, well, let's get this party started. Meddling maze to draw there for Rossum. Seacrum Coast, Vile. Doors open. I mean, it would take a heck of a draw. But possible. It's definitely possible. Misty Rainforest. It's interesting. With, with Handy being on the play, she might actually prefer seeing... Oh, no. What is that? Groundswell? That's Might of Might of Okay, so five. She might actually prefer seeing Vile instead of Noble Hierarch because the real concern here is... Is a static caster ahead of schedule? Oh, of course, of course. There's champion of the parish. No second land. No second land. Rossum depending on that vial. We might get a dismember here. Now, if you're handy, I think you have to assume. Okay, you definitely have a one to put through the vial as well. I don't know. There's only so many ones in the deck. Well, if he's casting a one, Could right? Just, then keep, just keeping up appearances. There's also that, yes. But I, I'm going to give Rossum a little credit. It doesn't matter. You're going to you're going to see it when you move to attack. There's yes. There's that too. Rossum has to block you. He, he dies to any anything that is plus four, which is the whole deck. Yeah. Dismember is going to bring Handy down to thirteen. So we'll flip those life totals around. But Rossum is the one with five in fact. Handy will draw. Another might have old Croja. Okay, so, you know, go for the W, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hope you have something. You do. Okay. Any follow up? Nope. Pass the turn back. Vile up to two. All right. Pass turn back. Handy will draw. I think it may have been a blighted agent. Free booter on the upkeep. Mm. All right. Become immense. Two finds of the vast wood. Blighted agent. Take become immense. What do you want to cast this turn? I would lean towards playing the Blighted Agent, but that is really risky against Meddling Mage. Yep. Yep, it is. I don't. I, so I, I would feel uncomfortable with just having my opponent in this, like. I mean, this is the Abyss, right? It's like, okay, attack, block, Vine's my guy. Get back to become immense. So it's not quite the abyss because it's all of Handy's mana every turn. Yes. And a card. Yes. Okay, so now, you know, basically trading it in, get to become immense back, pass the turn back. I do think that plays smart because of the concern of Meddling Mage. Horizon Canopy is a huge draw. Right. Now, huge. The, the big goal here for Rossum is can you play two cards in a turn? Then it starts getting very good. 
because you have something to block with and you're advancing your board now. You're not just on the back heels the whole time. Melee Mage is going to name a card. We'll find out what it is here in just a moment. Glistener off, I believe, the draw. Name Blighted Agent. Didn't name a pump spell. Let's see what this is. Lieutenant. It's a good blocker. Oh, Lieutenant's great here. I mean, if you're locking out the Blight Agent, <laughs> and then your Metal Mage is going to be 3 3, and you're, you trade with something, yep. you don't even care what, just yep. anything. That's good. There's Become Immense. Follow up. Another Glistener Elf. Pass. Second Glistener Elf is not bad here. No, because not bad at all. it's tough sledding for, for Handy to try to. Uh, you know, his hand's full of creatures. He's been missing land drops. It's a pretty good draw. Draw Dismember. So you kind of need to go wide, as it were. It's tough, though, because. If you're going to go for it, you've got to send in everything. And if you send in everything, the 3-3 three, three meddling mage goes in front of a 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. And if you try to pump the other thing to, to, to win the game and it doesn't work, you're out of it. You're just, you're, you have no resources left. And dismember in a weird way is like almost a perfect draw because you get to establish the Noble Hierarch, which is a good chump blocker, obviously. One mana lets you kind of keep up appearances that don't really have a lot going on. And then you've got something to put through the vial, too. There's yeah. a lot to like about it. And anything that Rossum can put through the vial is going to be larger than the Glistener Elf. Mm -hmm. So Handy basically gets to make one Hail Mary attack, and if it doesn't break the right way, uh, I think she's just out of the game. Yeah, I think so, she's too. She's going to lose all of her Glistener Elves and all of her resources. Here's a vial activation. Remember, with vial, you have to respond to the vial being activated. And when Meddling Mage enters the battlefield, it doesn't use the stack. Mm -hmm. It's as it enters the battlefield. So then Rossum will get to name something, and Handy won't be able to respond. That's why she is pausing right now, because she's trying to figure out if she's supposed to cast Mines of the Vastwood. There is Meddling Mage. Yep. Named Vines. Here comes Mutagenic Growth. Going to pay life to cast it. And Rossum says, I'll, I'll pay life to do something, too. And if Handy can't play over the top of this, I think we're done. I think we're done, too. She can't cast either card in her hand. Right. Now, the meddling mage and the, well, the meddling mage is plural. Actually, no, only one will get a minus one, minus one counter. Excuse me. Black die is minus one, minus one counter. White die is plus one, plus one. The one that's a three, three, killed in response. So, Andrew, it looks like another meddling mage. I'm not quite sure what you name with that one, but fine either way. There's an attack for four. Follow up here. Meddling Mage. I buy Blight Agent, Glistener Elf, or Dismember as names. How about Noble Hierarch? That's going to do it. John the Rossum is going to win this match here over Emma Handy. Two games to one. Humans going to take care of Infect. And now, Patrick, about four minutes ago, I wanted to play Fanny. Now I want to play Humans again. And not Infect. Yeah, and not Infect. Right. I want to play Humans now. What do I do? Go ahead and play it. Should I just put all the decks that I like, put it in a hat, write, write their names down, put them in a hat, and then just pick one for the Pro I Tour. I think that 